Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to MySQL tutorial for beginners. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a table with column for a database. So first of all, let's can create a database. So for it, we're going to say here create database. This is our database name will be project db. And if we now run this, there you can see a database is created. So we need to refresh our schema and we have a database here. So first of all, before we create a table for this database, we need to select this database. So we need to say here, use then our database name, which is project db, like this. And if we now run it, there you can see use project db. So it is now selected. So we are going to create a table inside this database. So in order to create a table, we need to say here, create table and we need to give our table name. This our table name will be orcars. Then we'll give to first bracket like this. And let me just put it over here like this and end it with a same clone. So in a table, what do we have? We have some column like employee ID, employee phone number, salary, and many more so first of all let's say here our first column will be employee underscore id and this employee id will be in desired it means a number so for it we are going to say here int and after each line we need to give a comma i mean after each column name and after employee id let's say here first underscore name this will be the first name for first name, we are going to use Harker. So we are going to say here Harker. And how many character the name can include? Let's say it will be 50. It means highest 50 character can be a employee name. And after this, let's say we we'll show the employee salary. So here we are going to say salary. And the salary will be decimal. Let's say the employee salary is $100.50. 50 cent. So since there is a send, so we need to say over here decimal and let's say the salary can be $100 to $1 million. So let's say here 6, comma, and after the point, let's say we will show three number, for example, 100.506, like this. So we say 6, comma, 3, after that, the last term. Higher date. Let's say higher underscore date. And for this higher date, we need to mention date, obviously. So we can say here date. You can also use date time if you want, but we'll just go with date. Date time means it will also include the time as well. So those are the things that we need to write in a table. And each column will be separated by a comma. And for the last one, you do not need to give any comma. If you give a comma, you will get an error like this. So if we now just run this, there you can see a table is created. And if I now just refresh here and click on this table icon, there you can see we have a new table called orgers. And here you can see in the schema, we have employee ID, first name, salary, and hired date. And we can also see their type like integer, burger, decimal, and date. Now let's say you want to see the table. So for it, what you need to do is, you need to say over here, select star from your table name. And our table name is orgar. So we are going to say over here, orgars. So here select star, star means all. It means we are going to get all the column and their data from the database for this table. So we'll run this and there you can see we are able to see employee ID, first time, salary and hired date. Now let's say you want to rename this table name. So how can we rename the table name? Let's say we want to change the table name from orders to employee. So for it, we need to write here, rename table and our table name is orders. So we are going to say orders to employee employees let's say employees so our table name will change from orders to employees if we now run this so we got an error we give two s so normally a table cannot have two s at the end so here we are going to say employees like this employees i also made a spelling mistake so let me just run it again and there you can see rename table orders to employees if we now just refresh here there you can see our orchard table changed to employees table. So we are able to successfully renew our table. 
and also just make sure that you also every time you give a same clone at the end of your query okay so right now let's say you want to add one more column to the employee table so here in the column we only have employee id first name salary and hire date we want to add phone number as well for it we need to say here order table our table name is right now employees employees then we are going to say add phone and highest number of character the phone column can have let's say it will be 15 so we say here further 15 so if we now just run this let me just click on this icon there you can see auto table employee id add phone burger so let me just refresh and there you can see we have one more column called phone and you can also see it like this way so we can say here select star from employees like this and if we now run this okay i got it error because i also need to remove this so if you now run this there you can see we can see the table employee id first time salary hire date and four so okay so you are able to add a column in your table right now you do not like this name you want the name to be phone underscore number you can do that as well so here so let me just remove this and here we're going to say order table and our table name is employees then we'll say here rename column our column is old we want to rename it to phone number so we we'll say here phone underscore number and indeed in the save clone right now if we run this there you can see it was successful and let me just refresh here there you can see our column name changed to phone underscore number and one more thing that i want to show is that our phone number has further 15 character let's say we want to increase the character by 10 we want here the stop 15 we want here 25 so for it we need to say order table employees after that we will say modify call out phone underscore number we want it modified to with hard card 25 25 so we just need to say this you just need to add this modified and if we now run there you can see order was successful and if i now click on this phone number okay let me just refresh first then click on phone number and here you can see our phone number parker type is burger and the length is 25 now you do not write the position of this column you want this phone number to be after first name so for it what you need to do is you need to say the same query order table employees modify column phone number of 25 you just need to add here after first name so we are going to say here first underscore name okay we can also just write it like this this way that will still or so right now if we just run this and let me just refresh my schemas there you can see after first name we have phone underscore number let me just show you this way we are going to say here select star from employees let me run this and there you can see employee ID, first name phone number salary and hire date and if you want to drop that table drop this employee table all you need to do is you need to say here draw table and our table name is employees so this will fill it out table let me just show you if i now just run this there you can see there is no table right now so this is how you can create a table and everything about table in mysql in the next tutorial we'll see how we can insert data to the table so thank you very much for watching if you like this tutorial then share this to your friend who want to learn mysql also make sure to subscribe and also i hope to see you in the future tutorials